What is up guys, DigitalVFX here once again, and today I have another tutorial for you on how to make a Melbourne base. I know I've not made a tutorial in a very long time, but I finally have some free time, so I'm going to start making tutorials more often again. And uh, like I just said, this one's on Melbourne base. I've been listening to Melbourne a lot lately. I love the, the energy and the vibe that uh, the music has, and I've been making a lot of Melbourne lately. And it's just probably been one of my favorite genres recently that I've been listening to. So I thought um, I would show you guys how to make a pretty nice Melbourne bass sound, especially because I have noticed a genre, which used to be kind of underground, uh, start to gain popularity. Um, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to add two kicks um, into my sequencer, and then I'm going to replace this. I'm going to use two basses. Um, one of them is going to be ANA, one of them is going to be Silenth. Um, I'm just gonna get the sounds right now. I'm not gonna mess with them yet, but uh, let's see. In uh, ANA, it's the default bass house, and I'm going to go to basic bass, and it's silent. Um, it's in the very first slot um, of presets, and you're going to go to Moog bass. And those are all set for now. I'm not gonna mess with them yet, but that should do for now. I'm gonna add or do these two kicks um, layered. And I'm going to add all four of these to the mixer. Um, I have right clicked and did selected channels starting from this track. Um, so it will link all of them at once. And so um, if you listen to these kicks right now, they kind of sound like crap because the bass is overlapping. But, um, oh, did I? Whoops, I accidentally did a different kick. Like that, there we go. Um, they're overlapping and the bass uh, does not sound very good um, so what you're going to do is first of all I can add a spectrum analyzer this is a free plugin um, you can just google spectrum analyzer and it will come up with a bunch of free plugins there's a lot of different types um, most of them do the exact same thing and it's uh, all it does is tell you what frequencies uh, are playing on it so if I play this obviously you can see there's a lot of bass on here and then there's a little bit of top kick so um, this so I like the top sound of this kick and the bass of this sound or of this kick so what I'm going to do is uh, rename this channel bass kick just for organization purposes rename this one top kick so um, after I have the spectrum analyzer I can do this I'm going to add a fruity parametric EQ and being the top kick Alright, so I kind of I cut the bass there as you can see, and I cut a little bit of the top um, because I'm going to have a melody. Well, later in a song, you would have a melody playing, and you don't want any of the bait or the kick drum to be interfering with uh, like um, any of the melody, or even like a uh, a hi hat or something you were to layer or a ride to layer on the kick. So um, you, I only want the the mid to upper frequencies of that kick, and then. On the bass kick, I'm going to do the same thing, but since I like the bass in this sound, I'm going to cut the lower frequency, or sorry, cut the higher frequencies off the bass kick, and then I'm going to lower the volume. And that kick sounds a lot better than what we just started off with. Um,
Alright, so I like the sound of that. Now for the basses, I have this ANA bass, or uh, yeah, it was basic bass. And those are the two sounds. Um, I'm going to pick a note, go down a couple octaves, maybe go up one. Kind of like the sound of that A. I think that note goes a lot on for a little too long, so I'm going to press backspace, assuming that you are in um, main on the snap. And if you press backspace, it will undo the snap, and I could just move that. Uh, let's try that. Sorry for the little crackling there. I'm on. I have to go on the primary sound driver so I can. There we go. Um. So I'm going to hold Control. If you see that light is on, I'm going to hold Control and press C, and that will copy it. Click the light on this channel and Control V, and that will paste the notes. This is very helpful, especially with a very long melody. you can see we have the same type of problem but um, what I like to do to kind of fix this um, it sounds a little bit better and it's a little bit easier um, after you can just do the same thing if you want and look at a spectrum analyzer but since they're both bases they both have pretty much the same uh, waveform So what I like to do is on one of the bases, um, maybe I could just try ANA, is click uh, this icon right there. And in the corner, you can see it says reverse polarity right there um, when you highlight it. And what that does is that flips the waveform vertically. And uh, it's kind of like adding a side chain, I want to say, but not really. Um, what it does is it uh, kind of makes it so... Um, the peaks of the notes aren't in the same spot so you get the same sound kind of but it doesn't overlap and I like the sound that it makes um, when it reverses the waveform I think it sounds cool uh, it gives it a nice little kind of acid uh, yeah I think this is the name of the sound like the acid house type sound I think actually I can control C control V because I made the notes perfect whoops did not mean to do that and then so when you flip the waveform it uh, kind of removes a step by having to go into the parametric EQ and You want to do a little bit of EQing, but um, it, it eliminates a lot of it by... Another thing I like to do uh, sometimes is I will add a side chain. A lot of people will, will disagree with me on this, but you'll see why. Um, I don't let it affect it too much. I'll bring I'll bring all these up, so it won't really have that much of an effect on it.
and then I'll also go down here to the volume and decrease the volume a little bit so um, it'll just have a subtle effect on it And there you have it. There is a there's the Melbourne bass. Um, I think it sounds pretty good. It's a pretty good quality one. Um, and I know it uses two expensive plugins, but uh, I know a lot of people have these. They're two very popular plugins, and I would highly recommend them. They're very nice, and they have a lot of a lot of good sounds, and they're very powerful. So. Um, Maybe I'll try to make a good quality one with a uh, default plugin in FL Studio if I get enough requests. But um, it's been a Digital VFX production, and thanks for watching.